Hello and welcome everyone. Today's video features the brand new Royal Navy Heavy Cruiser, HMS Nottingham. Now the Nottingham is based on an original idea by Sir George Thurston in the 1920s. In 1926 he presented three cruiser projects to the Royal Navy. Projects A and B closely resembled the county class of cruisers, while Project C turned out to be a little bit more radical and envisaged the main battery guns all on the bow to achieve a better concentration of fire. The British Admiralty, however, assumed a more conservative approach and these ideas were never taken on board. But the Nottingham is based on this original idea around Project C from Sir George Thurston. Now the Nottingham is a heavy cruiser sporting nine of these 203mm guns and will be available very very soon in game. Now there is a giveaway for one lucky winner. I was very fortunate I did receive this ship from Wargaming to be able to provide this giveaway and conduct this review of this ship. So to enter this giveaway all you have to do is leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section on this video below the video itself in the format you see here on screen making sure to include your in-game name and the server you play on okay so before going through a complete review guide let me just quickly put here up on screen the actual build i'm using in this gameplay footage nothing really out of the ordinary i'm using the propulsion mod in slot 4 and the captain skills, I've gone with Smoke upgrade gunner, started. concealment of course, extra hit points, consumables, adrenaline rush, and gun feeder for that faster swapping of AP to HE and vice versa. So like any good review, we were going to start Smoke with the armor set. layout. You can see here just the using a fire. simple port screenshot, we can see the Nottingham has 25mm upper fore end deck and fore end armor. Same at the stern, 25mm both upper and lower. The main casemate armor is 27mm and the main deck gets a nice 30mm of protection. Now we look at the belt armor, we can see the main belt armor is 152, 152mm. Now there are two additional sections of dating here both 127 millimeter under the three main gun turrets and between the main belt armor and the aft end plating now both of these sections it's not visible here on screen but these both of these 127 millimeter sections are covered by an additional torpedo protection of 27 millimeters the superstructure gets 16 millimeters of plating while the gun turrets are quite lightly armoured, they get all round protection, both on frontal, side, top and rear plating, it's all the same 25mm. While the barbette armour on these turrets is 152mm. Now I will show you some quick screenshots of the internal armour from both the front, I mean the citadel armour from both the front and the rear. You can see the shape of the citadel. There is a section of deck slope under the main conning tower. And here from the rear, you can see the scope of the internal citadel. So quite large. There are sections raised above the waterline. So quite vulnerable when actually showing broadside. But there are many ways to actually counter this, including the inclusion of Royal Navy smoke screens, destroyer smoke screens, the short burst smoke generator which will be invaluable in making dangerous turns and getting one out of Enemy dangerous situations dead ahead. so that's it with the armor it ties in directly then to the ship's survivability with this build the nottingham gets 38,900 hit points and has a torpedo protection damage reduction of seven percent now this is further bolstered by having hydroacoustic search, which is quite good. It can detect enemy torpedoes at three and a half kilometers 
and enemy ships at 5 kilometers. So quite useful this hydro. The short burst smoke generator, it has an action time with this build of 17.3 seconds. The smoke dispersion time is 40 seconds, so very very useful. And with this build you get 6 charges. One final note on the ship's survivability is when you take a fire, the fire will burn for 30 seconds duration and should you take a torpedo and flooding, this will last for 40 seconds should your damage control be on cooldown. So 30 second fire duration and 40 second flooding duration. So moving to the main battery, so as Sir George Thurston would have liked, all three gun turrets on the bow, nine of these 203mm guns in total, 3x3, the second turret in a super firing position, the second turret can rotate 360 degrees, making it quite useful. These guns have a 13 second reload time, that is a rate of fire of 4.6 rounds per minute. They can rotate 180 degrees in 19.6 seconds. They have a max dispersion of 131 meters and a max firing range of 15.7 kilometers. Smoke screen set. Now these guns have a Sigma rating of 2.0. The max horizontal dispersion is 142 meters and the max vertical dispersion is 85 meters. So these guns do feel quite accurate and reliable when aimed correctly. The shell grouping feels quite good and feel quite reliable when aiming for the most part. The Nottingham gets both high explosive and armor piercing. The high explosive has a max damage of 2850, 2850 damage. They have a 17% fire chance that is with both of the signal flags mounted. They can penetrate 34 millimeters of armor and have a shell speed of 814 meters per second. Now the armor piercing has the exact same shell speed, 814 meters per second, and can inflict a max damage of 4,500 on entering the enemy citadel. So max damage 4,500. Nottingham gets an additional eight single mounted 102 millimeter guns that act as secondary armament. These have a max firing range of 6.9 kilometers with a reload time of 3.6 seconds. These 102 millimeter guns fire high explosive shells. They have a max damage of 1500 with a 7% fire chance and can pen 17 millimeters of armor with a shell speed of 811 meters per second. So 811 meters per second. So the guns feel quite reliable. 13 second reload on these 203s. The armor piercing feels quite good when shooting, especially the broadsides of enemy cruisers. All stations protect that target. Regularly citadeling targets at, at 10 kilometers and above. The performance under 10 kilometers even better. So quite reliable. Moving on, HMS Nottingham also gets 16 torpedoes. So quite dangerous torpedoes, 4 X4 launchers, 2 on each side, so 8 torpedoes per side. These 16 torpedoes have a max firing range of 8 kilometers. They can inflict a max damage of 15,533. They have 62 knots of speed with a detectability range of 1.3 kilometers. These torpedoes have a reload time of 96 seconds. So just over a minute and a half reload on these torpedoes. Now basically 62 knots with a detectability range of 1.3 kilometers basically turns into a reaction time of 7.8 seconds. And these torpedoes have a 259% chance of causing a flood. So decent flooding chance. Enemy battleship sunk. So quite a dangerous torpedo threat should you get within 8 kilometers of any potential target. 16 torpedoes, 8 kilometer range with 62 knots of speed, 8 torpedoes per side. 
four X4 launchers. Oh, quite dangerous. The Nottingham also gets an airstrike to deal with enemy submarines and the max range on this is seven kilometers. The Nottingham gets two available flights, one aircraft per flight, dropping two bombs with a max bomb damage of 4200 and the reload time on these is 30 seconds. So again, huge advantage having the airstrike even though the, the range is quite limited at only 7 kilometers, but still better than ship-based or ship-dropped uh, depth charges I need your support. as the airstrike adds a lot of flexibility. When it comes to AA defense, the Nottingham gets 6 quad-mounted 13mm guns, 4 X4 40mm guns, and the secondary battery of eight single mounted 102s are dual purpose, also acting as AA guns. Now, where you might think this sounds pretty okay, the continuous average damage is really Smoke quite low. Started. It's only 121. The Nottingham is capable of firing only one shell explosion in this base configuration. This one flak explosion can inflict a max damage of 1120. The priority sector reinforcement is 50% and the max firing range is only 4 kilometers. So very, very limited AA defense. Your ship's detectability from the air is 6.2. So it's pointless ever turning off this AA unless you're desperately trying to hide your location inside a smoke screen so the AA does feel quite limited at tier 8 this can be a little bit problematic due to the high population of enemy CVs at this tier but four kilometers is the max firing range on this AA defense in terms of maneuverability the HMS Nottingham gets a base speed of 34 knots. Now you can improve this Torpedoes to 36 deport. when mounting the Sierra Mike signal flag. Turning circle radius of 700 meters and a rudder shift time of 9.4 seconds. Now I am using the propulsion mod in this game. You can decrease this rudder shift time down to 7.5 seconds should you choose or prefer the steering gears mod in slot 4. So finally, stats wise, we look at the Nottingham's concealment. 9.5 kilometers, you'll be detected by enemy ships. Concealment rating of 72, you will be detected by enemy submarines at 6.2 and the same concealment by enemy aircraft, also 6.2 kilometers. One very important note when it comes to the smoke screen is when firing in this smoke, you will have a smoke firing penalty of 6.8 kilometers. So should any ship have direct line of sight on your smoke screen and be within 6.8 kilometers, they will detect you firing in your smoke. So this, ladies and gents, is the HMS Nottingham. Now, I must admit, at first glance, I thought to myself, what is this abomination? This is one very, very strange looking ship. It reminded me immediately of the Nelson Royal Navy battleship. But I must admit, the combination of short action uh, British smoke screens makes this ship feel quite useful. You can get into close areas of support in five minutes lay down some quite heavy fire these guns are accurate they hit hard they have good fire chance any potential broadside can be punished and i found the survivability to quite effectively overmatch my expectations 
using a hit and run playstyle, allowing me to use the con good concealment and stay at mid range allows this ship to feel quite effective indeed. So I hope I was able to provide you some useful information when it comes to informing your decision on should you like to pick up the HMS Nottingham for yourself. Now I'll remind you once again, there is a giveaway for one lucky winner. All you have to do is leave your in-game name and the server you play on in the comment section below this video. Now if you'd like to see some live gameplay, feel free to come over and visit me on Twitch. I play there regularly during the week. I look forward to seeing you all. I will let this game play out. Now I have included the match scores, the team scores at the very end. So make sure to watch to the end. There is a very nice little surprise kill at the end. So I hope you enjoyed the video and I look forward to seeing you all at some time. Smoke screen set. Enemy battleship detected. Target penetrated. Enemy cruiser destroyed. I'd like to thank you once again all for watching. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe for more. Take a moment to check out some of my most recent videos and leave a comment below. And until the next time, keep sailing it like you stole it.